So a friend of mine recently got a mechanical engineering job. So we started discussing cars and it got me thinking, what kind of car can an entry level engineer actually afford? So today I want to share with you real figures of my income and see what kind of car you can actually expect to afford if you become an engineer. So let's begin. I graduated school last year and I have been working as an engineer for almost a year. I am considered an entry level engineer so the numbers used will apply to you if you just graduated engineering school. So let's see my last month's check stub and get started. So this is my check stub. For obvious reasons, I'm only showing the summary of my stub. This is a consistent number per month since I get paid salary, just like most engineers. As you can see, I make $6,770 of gross income. This is before any taxes and deductions, so I don't ever get to actually see this number. So let's start listing some stuff. So gross income, 6,770. From these 6,770, 470 go to pre-tax deductions. This means that the 470 get directly subtracted from my gross income before the government takes its share. These 470 are for two main reasons. One, my retirement fund, or known as 401k, and two, for my insurance. So my dental, vision, and health insurance are included in this section. This leaves me with $6,300. The next section is the heftiest, taxes. I file as single, so I get hit the hardest and I pay the federal government and the state government a total of $2,000.50. This leaves me with around $4,300 per month. After this, I have after tax deductions. In this case, these are optional. So I pay $630 for company stock, which I buy at a discounted price. At the end, only $3,600 per month actually make it into my pocket. However, since the company stock is optional, if I decided not to buy any stock, I would actually be taking home around $4,200. For the purposes of this video, let's assume I'm skipping the company stock to figure out the best possible car that I can afford right now after all my expenses. So I will begin with my $4,200 in my pocket. Now let's actually talk about the expenses. I'm a relatively simple person, so I don't buy too many things. So after looking through all my expenses, I'm only paying $1,050 for rent and about $1,000 for food, gas, and fun. So this includes eating out, visiting my family, going to the movies, gas for my car, and buying random gadgets. This leaves me with $2,150. If I give myself $100.50 of safety, I can realistically afford to pay $2,000 per month for a car. I know there are extra expenses for maintenance and stuff, but let's assume maintenance will cancel out with a pay increase per year. Also, a lot of dealerships offer a few years of free maintenance if the car is purchased brand new. So now that I have my maximum possible monthly payment, let's look at possible interest rates or APR. So one of my credit cards actually offered me a free credit score check. And after I pull it up, it turns out that my credit score is 778, which is considered pretty good. Then I went online and found a few sources that indicated that if I were to get a car loan, I would qualify for the lowest APR bracket. In this case, let's assume it will be 3.33% as shown in this table. Now, let's go to a car calculator and see what I can actually afford. So this is the Edmunds website and this website actually gives you a calculator that allows you to uh, know how much car you can actually afford. So right now I'm using the 90012 zip code which is uh, downtown LA zip code. And as we discussed, the maximum down payment that I can do is around 2000. And let's, let's do the loan term at a maximum of 72 months which is 6 years. And based on my credit score, I will qualify for a 3.33%. Let's assume that to be true. And let's do a car down payment of, or a cash down payment, I should say, of 5,000. And let's calculate. So as you can see with these numbers, a car that's $123,000 is actually within my grasp, which is crazy. However, the monthly payment is pretty high and the down payment is also relatively high and the loan term is actually really long. So let's do something more reasonable and give myself an extra $500 a month. So I've been playing with this, so I tried $1,500 and let's decrease this to only 60 months, which is five years. And let's leave the down payment the same. So we calculate, even with these numbers, the car that we can afford is actually around $80,000 still, so that's still a pretty nice car. 
And this is with an entry level engineering position. So, as you can see, the price range that you can afford if you become an engineer is pretty nice. So let's choose a safe range and look at some awesome cars under $100,000. So with an engineer income, you can afford cars such as the Corvette Z06, the Dodge Viper, the 911 Carrera S, the BMW M3, and the Cadillac CTS, just to name a few. So as you can see, there's some pretty awesome cars that you can afford within this price range. So that's it for this video, I wanted to keep this video relatively short, but if you are interested in more videos like these, please leave a comment below with your dream car and subscribe for more videos.